Now you gon' be the cause of people dying in this place I'm thugged out, you see P let me go It's simple and plain, you ain't gon' play me like a hoe Cause night war niggas don't play that shit Don't bring a six shooter, we poppin' a hundred and clip We runnin' lip, and I'ma serve you hard like Serena Cut a hole in your head, bitch, it's Pasadena no, I'm a dog, I make the biggest niggas proud And I ain't forgot, I just ain't hustle in the wild That's me all champion of the WBC and WBA, Mike Tyson. He is all business. He, of course, has won all 30 of his fights. Kevin Rooney, the man we spoke of a moment, that is, if you will, of Mike Tyson. And maybe it's hurting, and maybe that's why he left training camp. There was that incident, of course, in the parking lot in Los Angeles. And there, of course, is the record that we spoke of. 27 knockouts in the 30 fights of Mike Tyson in a 29-month career. He, of course, has already become the youngest man to ever win the heavyweight championship. Sugar Ray Leonard, at this point, we always talk about what to look for, what are the good points, and yes, what are the bad points of the two combatants. Let's talk tonight. So that's what to look for, and if Tony Tucker isn't going to be able to beat Mike Tyson, he may be able to blind him. If you look at that outfit, Tony Tucker is coming to the ring. He sprinted into the ring. Well, whether he sprints out remains to be seen. He's won 34, not 35. There was that fight with Danny Sutton. Remember that he went down with an injured knee. It was ruled no contest and not, as some people have said, a victory. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, and there is one number that really jumps out at you. It's down at the bottom, and that is the 10.5-inch, or rather 12.5-inch reach advantage, 10.5-inch, beg your pardon, reach advantage of Tony Tucker over Mike Tyson. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Houston, Texas, weighing 221 pounds, with a professional record of 34 wins, no defeats, 29 KOs. He is the IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Tony TNT. Tucker. And in the red corner, from Catskills, New York, he too weighs 221 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 30 wins, no defeats, with 27 KOs. He is the WBA and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, now, here we go, now. You've had your trucks in the dressing room to protect yourself at all times. In the equation, Mr. Tucker is chief second. In the equation, Mr. Tyson is chief second. Let's get it on, come on. There's a line in the movie Full Metal Jacket, you can talk the talk, can you walk the walk? It's time for Tony Tucker now to walk the walk. Or run the run, as it were. And we'll see what kind of tactic Tucker takes. I was expecting Mike Tyson to jump right on Tony Tucker. Tucker, I had figured that he should at least tie his man up, try to frustrate, try to frustrate Mike Tyson. But is he strong enough to do that? Well, uppercut almost immediately after the bell. He follows a right with a left and rocks Tyson. The first time we've ever seen Tyson really rock back like that. To do that. Well, that was a good right hand by Tucker. That might have been the best shot that Mike Tyson has ever taken right there. Did you notice that? Up, technically speaking, no one gave Tucker a chance. But there are miracles here. The last time Tony Tucker lost a fight was in 1978. You know, a lot of times people say, well, what do you see in Mike Tyson? And we always felt that he was susceptible to take jazz. But I think what Tucker saw in, in Tyson was the uppercut. That was one of the few times I have ever seen Mike Tyson stopped by a punch. What happened then was the best thing that... 
the test cup. That's confidence. Another right hand. And another right hand by Tucker. Get him up, Tony, come on. There was a left hand by Tyson. Also, Tucker said, Tony Tucker stated that because no one expected him to win, that was motivation. And he's fighting with sheer motivation here. A lot, a lot of confidence. Yeah, he said he likes being the underdog, even though it's the first time he's been one, probably since he was an amateur. You know what's happening every time. Another thing you have to say, well, but it was against James Broad. Against Douglas, he fought a little bit better. And now we'll see what he can do against certainly the best fighter he's fought so oh, far. Sit back, Mike. Sit back, Tony. Sit back, clean. Here we go, clean. Here we go. Again, a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson. And another big right by Mike Tyson. Sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back Mike. Sit back. Did a very good first round for both men, and particularly for Tucker. Great left hand at the bell by Tyson. Well, Tony Tucker, as it was here at this place, we'll show you a picture of him later on. He's throwing combinations. He's not throwing one, two. He's putting three, four punches together. And he's following up with left uppercut. Left uppercut. Left hooks. Led with a left uppercut that time. Just has to keep those hands high. That's very important. Because Mike is rocking left and right, left and right, and looking for an opening. Well, you know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Marvin Hagler, where after the first round, there was no question in my mind, at least, that your confidence just really surged, and you have to think the same thing about Tony Tucker. The first, surviving the first round, actually can turn the tables around a fighter. It uh, gives him the... It uh, gives him the confidence. And again, well, like Antonio Tucker, he's using his height, his reach. Good body shot by Tyson. That's exactly what Kevin Rooney was telling him to do in the corner. Tyson's change. Trying, Tyson's trying to slow Tucker down by body shot. Oh, oh, oh. Time, time, that was time, a little bit low, and I think time, it's going to draw a warning. You go down there again, you're coming. Come on. Tyson, two good jabs. Interestingly enough, Kevin Rooney had told us that when he tells Tyson to jab, he's not jab telling him to jab to box. That was a good example. That uppercut is going to do the job over and over again. Almost hooked him with the left hand before bringing the uppercut underneath. He did hold him. That is a look of confidence in the face. He wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. There was a left hand by Tyson, but it did not appear to hurt Tucker. Well, Tucker wasn't given much chance. But of the five billion people on the planet, he's the only one who has a chance. You're making a miss real good, you gotta come up punch him right away. This is the third round. A lot of people did not think it would go this far. Oh, time, time, step back. Now, now, Mike, step back, time. Now keep those punches up, don't go down there again. Come on, come on. Tucker with another left hook to the head of Mike Tyson. Tucker tied his man up and got out of the corner. There was a good right hand again by Tucker. In close, catching Tyson on the way in. He's finished with the left hook, Barry. He up his punches better than I've ever seen him do. There was a good left hand, and that staggered. Man up. There was a
a good right hand by Tucker again. And there, an uppercut. He's, but they're uppercuts, Barry. Do you notice they're uppercuts? Again, in the corner of uh, Mike Tyson, Kevin Owens said, we need to see combinations, not look for one punch. And that's where normally Tyson's able to dominate his opponent because he throws a barrage of punches. Not one punch, because one punch, you see the intensity in, in uh, Tony Tucker. See in, in uh, Tony Tucker. There was a big left hand by Tyson. Tyson yeah. is working closer into Tyson, into Tucker. There you saw... Tyson, and that was the one big punch. And another one. You see, this is what Tyson wanted. He wanted uh, Tucker to stand there and exchange punch for punch. In this case, normally, Tyson comes out on top. Take it downstairs sometime. He needs to throw a jab downstairs, bring it back up to the head. There's a right hand again by Tyson. But Back. Here we go. Cut him down. Let him win. What a good shot. And Tyson with another left hand. 25 seconds left. Round four. Very competitive fight so far. Tyson initiated respect. He stood his ground. He rocked Mike Tyson the first round with a beautiful uppercut. So there's mutual respect here. Good hand speed by uh, Tony Tucker. I just don't and then do your thing. Tyson got the better of that exchange. I noticed that Tony Tucker's left hand is starting to drop. That could be very, very inviting for a counter right hand. A lead off right. Lead off right. There's the left hook. And that's what Tony is able to get those punches off. He should be giving a little more head movement. Left, right, left, right. Be less of a target. There was a right hand in close by Tyson. There was a right hand by Tyson. A lot of people. Right hand by Tyson. Tucker's going to want him not to tie his man up, which I think is a good move because it doesn't allow Tyson to punch. But they actually, instead, they want to push Tyson off and go at him, which I think would be a costly mistake. Mike Tyson's perpetual motion is always coming, so you have to break his rhythm, either with a jab or to tie him up and break that rhythm. I haven't seen anybody be able to push him off. Energy by pushing a man off. Man off. Right hand by Tyson. Tyson's just walking his man down. Very, very tough for Mike Tyson to get it to get inside. Tyson looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here. And there was a big right hand. Let's take a look at that right hand that Mike Tyson got in. Yeah, you see him use the left hand firing the right behind it. And when the opportunity for the big punch comes in. Got cute and paid the price. I think he's watched my fight before. Yeah, I think he has too. I think his timing is not as good as yours. He doesn't seem to be there anymore. He has to go on the attack. Tyson's jab in the last three rounds has been effective in allowing him to get inside on Tony Tucker. No, I would, he's very relaxed. I think what did it was the first round when he rocked Mike Tyson. He said, hey, I can punch too. Well, in fact, in that first fight, he got a cramp in his left arm in the first round. A knot actually formed. It was with him the whole fight. But there was a rumor about Tyson's, or rather Tucker's right hand, that he had injured his right hand, and that's why he backed off training. That was three consecutive left hooks thrown by Tony Tucker. I'm a big man. Not in a heavyweight. They don't throw those kind of punches. Once again, 
Tucker trying to get cute and again getting the worst of it, still mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I know from experience because I invented it, you gotta be very careful. Now there you see, he's pointing at him, he's winding up, and, and he's gonna get hit by Tyson's jab. <laughs> Okay, I like that in, in, in uh, Mike Tyson because he's throwing combinations again. We're in a fight of this intensity, this magnitude. And you, or you really don't feel it because those drill is blowing and you don't feel the pain. He did throw. Right uppercut there, which missed. That right hand seems to have hurt Tucker. His knees seem to buckle just a full second. Right hand up on the top of the head. When guys are in tremendous shape, it's very tough to see what, you know, to, to tell whether or not they're hurt or not. That was a right hand by Tucker. He told me they can hit sneak punch with one good shot and hurt you. Now, you gotta move your head a little bit more, you're not moving enough. Move your head, come in, get in there, punch out. You're not punching out at all. You put your arm right around, you gotta punch out, you gotta think about The question it. for an athlete like Mike Tyson isn't whether he's going to win, but how he wins. It's like a Sebastian Coe, not whether he's gonna win the mile race, but what his time is. I wanted Tyson to move his head, that's something Ray, you pointed out about five rounds ago. Yes, you have to move that head in order to get inside and not be so stationary, because what was happening as he bought, as Tyson bores in the uppercut. He's very susceptible to the uppercuts. Right right, Tucker, that back Tyson off. Get him up, both of you, come on! There was a big left hand, but again, Tucker shakes his head. I'm get to the side! Jamie, get to the side! Tyson. Mills Lane saying, I don't want to have to penalize you. Let's do some punching. Tyson getting off quicker with his jab now. It's a good, short, strong, fast left jab of Mike Tyson you've seen in the past. And the reason for that is because of the way that Fred Jeff did step in. Get close. Now come. There was. That's what you have to do. That's what he has to do, rather. This jab will get him closer to the taller man, Tucker, and then he can throw his punches. Once again, bro, you see what's happening here. Then he gets it. Not a jab that you use just to keep a man off of you. Mike Both guys reaching in with their chins first. Tyson was a little short with both that right and the left. The reason there's frustration is because of what Tucker's doing. He's tying his man up. Those little antics there sometimes work. You get the, what you do, you reverse the crowd's uh, approval. This guy's gonna try his best to steal his round, you understand that? Yeah. They did, they got a shot. And with these guns, yeah, I don't know, you understand that? I want to win this round big, you understand? Yes. Get out there and do something with these guns. Becoming the unified heavyweight champion at the age of 21. But interestingly This enough, obviously won't be... I have to say something, bro. You know when I, when, uh, Tony Tucker won the title against Buster Douglas, I felt that he needed more experience to deal with Mike Tyson, that he wasn't strong enough, nor had the experience to deal with Mike Tyson. I say, of Tony Tucker. Crowd getting a little tired of that. Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. There was a big left pass. Tucker says, no, 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 no.
Tyson finishing with a flourish. And so is it's over. Well, Tony Tucker talked the talk and walked the walk. He fought him. And he was a better fighter than most of us knew that he was. There's an old saying in boxing, you never know how good an unbeaten fighter is. And an unbeaten fighter is hard to beat because he doesn't know that he can be beat. And that's how Tucker fought tonight. Tony Tucker, very religious man. Judge Phil Newman scores 119-111. Judge Julio Roldan scores 118-113. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116-112. For the winner by unanimous decision, an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. They say they fly, bitch like Lil Bay, that's a guy. Never will you fucking try. Clever while I fucking die.